Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Awesome Sean here and welcome to part 22 of the Pokemon Fire Red playthrough. I feel like each time that I give that introduction I'm going to mess it up. But anyway folks, we are going back to um, Vermil Vermilion City. Actually we're going to the islands because um, while we was there I forgot to pretty much pick up an important HM. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pick that up uh, right quick. Anyway, folks, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Actually, been a while since I did this, but you guys can't tell because of the upload date and whatnot. Um, yeah, we're pretty much at the end, folks. Um, this part is going to be strictly focusing on Victory Road and pretty much the problems that come with it. But uh, once we get past that stretch, when it comes to Victory Road, uh, we'll be all done, folks. So... Hopefully, you know, we make a smooth transition through Victory Road. I haven't, like I said, I haven't beaten Pokemon Fire. The Fire or, um, what is it? Um, not the Fire, but the, uh, Red and Blue. I haven't beaten those games in quite a while. And the only way I'm, the only reason why I'm really playing this game is because, um, my friends wanted me to do it. And I'm kind of glad that they did because, uh, at the time, folks, <laughs> I was running out of stuff to play for you guys, so I do recommend, um, well, I do want to thank those guys for recommending, um, this game for me, so, thanks guys if you're listening, so, I appreciate that, but anyway, yeah, now that we have our, uh, important HM, we kind of needed it, um, you know, so I'm gonna go ahead and quit my Pokemon with it, but I haven't believed that, um, I should have been gotten this HM. I don't know what I was doing at this time, folks. Like I stated before, this was months of just me recording, you know, stuff and pretty much forgetting about it. I gotta stop doing that, by the way. But anyway, um, as I stated before, I'm doing fantastic. I hope you guys are having a great day as you watch this. And I do thank you for joining me. You know, I know it sounds cheesy, but, you know, you could be doing a lot of other things, but I'm glad you decided to hang out with me, you know. Just a nerd who likes to play video games and rant about them. That's pretty much my motto by now. I probably said it wrong, but you know what? It is what it is. But anyway, yeah, in this part, uh, as I stated before, it's going to be all about Victory Road. I'm just doing a little side stuff on the, uh, on the side, obviously. But yeah, it's mostly um, we're facing our rival one last time. Um, quote, unquote, with those quotations, one last time. And, um, pretty much just tackling, um, Victory Road. That's why this part is so long, because Victory Road is humongous, folks. It really is. Um, it has, like, uh, I think it has, like, three long floors of just agonizing maze torture and whatnot. But, um, if you follow me, I should be able to guide you here to Victory. But, anyway, we got our rival here, Dion, looking like a douchebag as usual. Um, yeah, so we got the battle with him, so, uh, let's get it on. Let's, uh, go ahead and beat this chump one last time, hopefully. But if you guys who have played this game know that, you know, you, you already know, but if you haven't, um, yeah, let's just leave that in quotation marks. But you, if you're watching this, you should have at least beaten the game by now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil quote-unquote a 20 year old game yeah we're this is not the last time we faced this guy so anyway um i'm just kind of mentally preparing to talk about victory road because that's going to be a lot to talk about um within that segment so i'm just trying to pretty much just trying to find things to um you know prepare to talk about because like i stated before there's many um Pokemon to encounter there, many trainers to encounter there, and you want to try to, this, the Victory Road is really kind of like the last major spot to, um, to really, uh, get those experience points you need to take on the Elite Four, that's if you want to, it's up to you, it's completely up to you, but, anyway, um, yeah, we're facing, like I stated before, we're facing our rival, his Pokemon kind of went through, you know, a little beefy transformation and whatnot, um, but, yeah, but anyway, um, at the time of this recording, a very important game has come out, and I hope you folks are enjoying it, and I fo hope you folks have been following me on Twitter, but anyway, that important game being Sonic Mania, that just came out a couple of weeks ago, actually, it just came out last week, 
at the time of this recording so I hope you folks are getting your fun in that um I'm going to do that um, eventually I'm thinking about it pretty soon probably within the next month or so uh, I'm gonna be doing a playthrough um, actually I'm trying to get D, uh, D to do a playthrough on that um, cause he has a little bit more experience with the game because uh, he got it for the PS4 and unfortunately I'm waiting for my Steam release of that game which comes out in uh, at the time of this recording comes out in a week at the time of this recording so you guys know exactly the time frame in which I recorded this but anyway um getting ready for that um I haven't had enough well I, I went to his house the other day um just to kind of get my hands on it I played all the way up to um dang it what was the name of that last zone I finished off at Lava Reef zone um is where I kind of had my playthrough kind of abruptly ended because um you know just complications and whatnot but anyway yeah i had a blast playing it um just such of that nostalgia just rushing to you all at once and it's a great game um if you haven't already pick it up folks i highly recommend it and all those reviewers are probably highly recommending that as well i'll probably kind of put like a little um review here on what I played so far as far as dealing with um you know Sonic Mania and all this goodness and whatnot but um yeah it's a fantastic game um go pick it up that's all I can say uh, I probably leave more as you know I probably like I stated before I probably do like a little review on it or whatnot but if you guys are up to that you know it's completely completely up to you if you know if you want me to do a review on that and whatnot, but anyway, through all that talk of Sonic Mania, I defeated my rival for pretty much, you know, yeah, loosening it up for the Pokemon League, more like vice versa. But anyway, we're going to heal my Pokemon because that was kind of an intense battle, even though I really, really wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was more talking about uh, Sonic Mania than you know, w watching the actual battle. I pretty much been through the battle, so I, you know what's this back but anyway yep using repel the whole time you know got to keep that going because um yeah oh no i don't want to here's the thing when it comes to victory road i don't want to run into unnecessary pokemon unless i have to and i um within victory road i believe it's pokemon that we've already ran into um pretty much it is um from what I'm looking at here with the because uh, I'm using that handy dandy handy dandy strategy wiki thank you uh, for that but anyway um, yeah this guys these douchebag uh, officials they're just doing their job but yeah if you don't have the amount of badges you know or required badges that you need in order to get through this there will they will not let you through so um, yeah you can come to this part earlier you know in the game if you want to but you're only gonna get stopped you know so they're they're checking the badges folks and they're checking them twice so you know get ready for all that goodness and whatnot but anyway yeah we're victory road it's a long way to get there but the puzzles and conquests and stuff is just gonna be crazy but okay um let's see um that HM we got earlier was um strength I forgot to mention that. Uh, I apologize, but uh, yeah, this is um, pretty much Victory Road is where the strongest trainers come to meet. So, if you train up your Pokemon good enough, you're gonna be able to uh, get through this anyway, but um, pretty quickly. But anyway, welcome to in the inside of Victory Road here. Just equipped in some more of the repel because I don't want to run into any necessary Pokemon unless I have to. But anyway, um, in order to get through uh, through Victory Road, you need to push some rocks with uh, strength, as I'm kind of demonstrating right now. Um, the puzzles are simple, but I kind of forgot about how to, you know, activate the puzz puzzles and whatnot. You just need to hit switches a couple of um, enough times. But um, if you know what to do, push the boulders uh, into round switches to clear the path to the exit. 
um, because otherwise you're not gonna know you know what to do in order to, for you to get through but anyway um, be sure to bring a powerful water water Pokemon type as most wild Pokemon in this dungeon are ground type so at the end of the road you'll be able to find a move tutor that be able to teach your Pokemon double edge if you want to um, double edge is a powerful normal move that slightly injures its use, uh, user but it's kind of handy if you want to, you know, know that. But, um, as I stated before, the Pokemon within Victory Row are the strongest you'll find in this phase of the game. So you can train here to face the Elite Four if you need to. Um, finishing, uh, Victory Row first before engaging any serious training is a good idea. However, at the entrance to the Elite Four, the Indigo Plateau, Counts as the location um, as the location reachable by a Pokemon who knows fly. So uh, anyway, the Pokemon that you encounter in here that you're gonna encounter a lot actually is gonna be a Onyx, um, varying from the level 40 to 46, and the encounter rate that you're gonna encounter with that is 30%. Um, also, you have a good chance of encountering a Goldback, a Marowak, and an Arbuck, all ranging at 5% encounter rate, um, varying from level 44 to 46. So, um, and of course, within the caves are Zubats, 10% uh, chance, uh, level 32. Um, the, uh, coming in with the second highest is the... Uh, with uh, a various change of uh, chance of encountering is a Monchop, 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 and a Chio do ranging from 20% chance encounter rate, ranging at level 32 for both. Uh, if you're interested, we also got two trainers on this floor, um, varying with um, you know different various types of Pokemon as well. That's why I'm pretty much showing off the. Um, you know the battles of within but anyway um you, and this is all within the first floor mind you so um very in end is um you have a chance to get a couple of tms well actually just one which is dragon claw uh you got a couple of items um you know you uh, rare candy ultra ball and the full restore but they're they're hidden so you know you got a good chance of finding those if you're interested um and also on the second floor I'll be explaining you know what other type of Pokemon that we'll be able to encounter with as well as well as the amount of trainers um, that's located you know within the floor as well so anyway yeah the, the um, we got a lot of encounter folks um, like I stated before it's the strongest of the strongest and the best of the best before we pretty much go to uh, you know face the elite four these trainers are the strongest within that but she said uh, she never wanted to lose to anybody well too bad you got no choice but within those uh i know those items are right there but kind of not interested at this time i'm just trying to get through these uh this victory road and i keep getting interrupted by trainers who want to battle but you know what whatever i'm just showing off showing off pokemon um that I don't think we have uh, encountered before. I think I'm going to be showing off all the trainer battles within. Um, you know, no matter if I face them, uh, you know, if they have the same type of Pokemon or not. But man, that was pathetic. Uh, but anyway, Pikachu's getting that level up and getting that experience. Um, you know, the Elite Four is going to be. That's the. Uh, that's the cream of the crop, folks. The best of the best. Um, I'll be explaining, you know, all about the Elite Four eventually when, um, you know, I get to them and whatnot. Gonna be explaining, you know, what weaknesses and all that stuff will be able to take them out. So I hope you folks stay tuned. And I hope you folks are enjoying the overly hyped Ape Escape 3 playthrough that I have on the channel. <laughs> I know I'm hyped throughout that playthrough uh, at the beginning, but the hype does now die down. So I hope you folks are enjoying that game, folks. I really hope you are. Um, Ape Escape 3 has been a long time coming for me. I hope you folks are, like, as I stated before, I know I'm repeating myself like a broken robot, but I hope you folks are enjoying that. And my, pretty much my phone are kind of going off. I do want to apologize for that, folks. So, um, 
yeah, it's the, uh, if you folks haven't heard that, it's the, um, it's the Old Spice jingle that I have for my phone. Now, uh, whenever I get a text message, I forgot to turn it off. So I hope you, uh, <laughs> I hope you first enjoyed that little jingle. If you heard it, I don't know if my microphone picked it up or not. But, anyway, sheesh. What is up with this? Okay. Alright, I think I got it. I think I got it situated with the... Anyway, I want to apologize for that. Sheesh. I thought I turned the volume down on this thing. But anyway, uh... <laughs> hope you folks enjoyed that little jingle tune or whatever. But anyway, um... Yeah, Charmeleon against the Charizard? Nah. That's not gonna happen. That's... Yeah. What, what do you expect? It was gonna faint. But, um... I believe Charizard is my strongest Pokemon at this time. And it's a double Charizard battle. <laughs> but anyway, um... Uh, smoke, smoke screen. I can't believe that they train actually uh, kept that move from the Charmeleon days. I believe that um, you know that Pokemon learns that move set at. I had to get rid of that because you know whatever. But anyway, yeah, this is um, kind of a Charizard battle here. Um, what I should have done, I'm thinking about it now, is that I should have had a Pokemon. I should have had a Pokemon with me that, uh, a water Pokemon actually, I should have been training that up, um, as I did, you know, I should have just kept a water Pokemon around, but I'll keep my Articuno at where it is, but <laughs> actually, um, about the, uh, the legendary Pokemon, I know I felt on him, uh, felt to have a chance to capture all but one, um, uh, D was kind of busting my balls about that one out of three legendary Pokemon. Um, you could catch this comment on my previous video as well, but I said, uh, I replied back to him, you know, uh, at least one is good enough. Um, most people don't take their time to go after those assholes, uh, <laughs> in particular, actually. So, people don't really go out of their way to go after, you know, those Pokemon. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, if you catch them, you catch them. If you don't, you don't. At least I tried to make an attempt before, you know, losing my freaking mind when it came to those Pokemon anyway. But, you know what? It is what it is. We had a great adventure. It's coming to an end, but you know what? I, I think this is one of my longest playthroughs, if I'm not mistaken, at this time anyway. But, you know, this channel is only a baby. It's, uh, just m a little more than a year old. It'll be, uh, so I'm only just starting off with, uh, you know, just a few subscribers, but anyway, I do thank those people who are subscribed, and I think, you know, the people who are watching this right now, uh, I know I don't, if I don't say it long enough, uh, I do thank you guys, and if you guys want to, you know, contact me or whatnot via chat, or, um, you know, just via any any type of messages, I'm on two social media, uh, media sites, which is, um, I have my own Facebook fan page. Uh, you guys can leave a comment there if you want. And I have my Twitter account, which I'm on, like, almost every freaking day. So, make sure, you know, to, if you want to, you know, do a collab or something like that. If you're a different trainer, um, not trainer, but different content creator. Uh, go ahead and, uh, if you want to do a collab with me, if my schedule is open, I'll go ahead and do it. Um, it's whatever, folks. You know, I'm up for anything. But anyway, we're facing this trainer right here who has a, uh, Executor. Can't believe I'm actually saying that right. But, um, yeah, he has that. Um, I think we're coming across, uh, the trainer. I think we're on the second floor right now. I'm not so sure trying to actually look this up to see if we are uh i think we are actually i'm not too sure um i'm gonna say that we are uh let's see here just give me a second to look around uh let's see here hmm i don't think that we are on the second floor i'm just trying to look to see something else to uh hmm it looks like we're on the third floor if we're facing this guy with the, uh, Executor. And he should have a Sand Slash, uh, let's see, he should have Electro and, um, Sand Slash. But anyway, um, I'm facing these trainers kind of out of order, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, just to go off the topic for a little bit, um, 
I know I stated this before. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, Crash Insane Trilogy. It's been about two months at the time of this recording since that game's been out. Hope you guys are enjoying that to the max. Um, I haven't actually had my hands on it uh, per se, but hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on it soon. I'm also looking into, um, I know I stated this before throughout random playthroughs as well, but I'm also looking to get an, uh, an El Gato. And I'm also looking to get an arcade stick. Um, they are expensive from what I've been looking at online. Yeah, so they are expensive. Um, I'm getting that because I want to pretty much just get back into the feel of having like an arcade, you know, a natural arcade feeling through playing through, you know, that kind of uh, setup. So I'll be able to bring in some more, uh, you know, arcade style fighting games and whatnot. Um, I'm actually setting up my own right now, which is um, gonna be a. I'm, I'm bringing Mugen to the channel, folks. Um, I already working on the custom build Mugen just for the channel. Uh, I'm gonna be doing that pretty soon, bringing Mugen into the mix. Uh, hope you folks are gonna enjoy that as well. Um, it's a pretty interesting screen pack. Uh, gotta figure out a way to pretty much get my microphone and um, my microphone to kind of sync um, to kind of sync in with the playthrough as well to be able to capture my voice uh, to sync in and to be able to capture my voice as well so I gotta kind of work out some kinks with that in order to make that happen and that's gonna be happening pretty soon ish uh, I can't I, I don't want to give a definitive date because I could always meet that date line or always miss that dateline I meant to say but anyway um I hope you folks are enjoying my other channel as well which is uh, instrumental King 21 just did an arcade playthrough on that channel uh, that channel has a lot of subscribers uh, and if you are subscribed to that channel as well want to thank you guys for watching both this channel and that channel even though the kind of uh, productive rate has been kind of slowing down a little bit between the two and by productive, I meant like um, I haven't been able to upload on that channel as much as well. Any, you know, as much as well either, because of you know scheduling conflicts and whatnot. You know, my job and whatnot gets in the way of me recording as much as I want to, and my living arrangement is kind of uh, getting in the way of that as well. So um, yeah, the only reason I wanted to pretty much battle this guy and to get out of the way is because I wanted to get a chance to um, you know get a chance to use that recover revive and the reason <laughs> the reason I was standing there for a second I kind of cut it out is because I was actually going through um, my menu within the game and I know you folks haven't been able to see that but yeah th I believe this is the second floor if I'm not mistaken if you got this uh, dark hair with glasses looking about I think this is the uh, second floor. Give me just a minute. Let me look here. Um, yeah, I think this is the second floor with the uh, with the geek. Uh, let's see here. It could be. Let's see. Uh, give me just a second here. I'm kind of using the uh, strategy guy. I think this is still the third floor. I'm not sure. Hmm. No, it's the second floor. Um. Well, it was the second floor, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I am just lost as balls, folks. I really am through that. But anyway, the second floor, um, you got about, let's see, five trainers to fight on that floor, uh, ranging from Pokemon from level 41 to 48. So if you're interested in that, um, also the Pokemon that's um, encounter rate is pretty much still the same with only a 10% decrease with Onyx and um, you have a good chance if you haven't already added this Pokemon to your party you have a good chance of capturing a Primate but it's only a 10% uh, encounter rate and uh, it's ranging at level 42 so if you want to capture that Pokemon at that level you have the option too you also have um, an option to catch a couple of items such as uh, two TMs which is sand, uh, Sandstorm and Hell. Uh, you also have a chance to get Guard Spec and Full Heal. Um, full Heal if you want to. Uh, that's totally up to you. Uh, give me just a second here. 
Uh, I think I was reading that from the wrong floor, but it's whatever. Um, anyway, uh, once we get through the third floor, uh, there's not that many Pokemon to encounter. They're all the same. Um, but in the green version, you have a great chance of capturing a Sand Slash. I think that's the game's, um, alternative Pokemon, I want to say. Like, um... And by alternative, I mean, like, um, I think that's that game's specific version when it comes to, uh, capturing Pokemon. But anyway, we got two trainers right here, back to back, and you better believe that I'm gonna be fighting them. Because I'm trying to get all the training I need out of the way, like I stated before, you're gonna need it for the Elite Four. Um, this trainer right here has a couple of good, uh, Pokemon. They're mostly water. Um, and I'm gonna be showing it off because... There's some Pokemon here we haven't seen from, um, which is this, uh, beast of a Pokemon, Kingler. So if you have an Electro-type Pokemon, this trainer is not going to be that much of an issue for you anyway. So it'll give you a chance to, um, buff up your Pokemon, your Electric Pokemon anyway, if you, um, you know, need the chance to. Anyway, I'm deciding to buff up my Pikachu. Why not? Given that this po uh, trainer, like I stated before has the uh, all water all what ah all type water pokemon on his team jeez man I, I really need some water i gotta remember to start bringing <laughs> i gotta remember to start bringing water during these sessions but anyway yeah it has all type water pokemon so if you um like i stated before got your electric mouse or you got your uh, explosive ball Pokemon, and you folks should know who I'm talking about. Then this phase is going to be a piece of cake to you. But like I stated before, just try to get all the uh, experience points that you can. But anyway, folks, um, just going off of a uh, topic once again, just to kind of keep things interested for you folks. Uh, Sonic Mania, going back to that. That game is gorgeous looking. Um, I kind of spoiled it for myself a little bit, being the impatient bastard that I am. Um, kind of wanted to pretty much just like, um, just see what the game is all about. So I was looking at uh, reviews. And of course, if you do look at reviews, then it's going to be spoiler, uh, spoiler heavy. But, you know, I couldn't, um, kind of, uh, help myself with that. Um, anyway, uh, what I was going to say before is that, um, oh, what was I going to say? I had, I had it in my head, but I lost it. But, um, anyway, this trainer right here, um, is packing, let's see what, let's see. It's packing mostly, like, um, you know, grass and bug type Pokemon. So, if you have a fire type Pokemon or a flying type Pokemon, then this battle's gonna be a cinch. But anyway, um, the music within Sonic Mania is incredible, folks. It is one of the best sonic soundtracks i've heard in quite some time um especially my favorite track within that game is um i know i'm talking about sonic and this a pokemon playthrough but um my favorite track within that game is stardust speedway at one that music is just got 90s vibe all around it matter of fact the whole track has 90 um 90s vibe around that so it's gonna be making sure it's gonna it's gonna make you feel like you warped back into the 90s folks with this game it really is so you're gonna be like a little kid playing this game because i felt like a little kid playing this game and it kind of creeped out d <laughs> to be honest uh <laughs> but anyway um yeah folks this game is incredible it's gonna make you feel it's gonna it's, it's gonna make you feel kind of great playing the game folks it really is but anyway yeah i hate the move um victory bell has which is uh acid um you know it poisons your pokemon and it slowly uh using a hyper potion um not really i'm not expecting anything less man that's gonna be all the elite four is gonna be using folks can hyper potion but we'll get to them when we get to them but anyway uh it's only one more part folks only one more part left and then we'll be done with pokemon um it'll be strictly i don't know what the next playthrough i'm gonna have going up besides uh ape escape 3 i'm probably gonna have some side stuff go across that as well want to pretty much spend the uh, majority of my weekend if i can 
to pretty much just record some stuff, get it out the way, you know, if I can have it ready for you folks uh, to enjoy. But anyway, um, back at the battle that the behold, uh, as I stated before, if you have a uh, all, um, if you have a fire or a flying type Pokemon, this is going to be a, uh, or if you have a combination of the two, this is pretty much going to be an easy battle. But um, yeah, I'm showing off a uh, parasite. I don't know if he um, had a Parasite or whatever this Pokemon, that Pokemon was named. Uh, I don't think I showed it off before. I wasn't too sure, so that's why I'm showing off this battle in the first place. Because there was a couple of interesting Pokemon, um, you know, that we haven't seen before. But this is the uh, third floor where we're encountering these trainers. And I am equipping um, Repel once more because that's going to be like your best friend here so make sure that you use those repels i'm using a strategy guide with this as well um just to make sure that we get out of here um you know that we don't take up as much time as we need to and getting out of this hectic maze even though the guys state that it was simple i had a hard freaking time trying to <laughs> i forgot he got a uh, slides all over the place but i had a hard time figuring out what the heck to do when it came to, um, you know, trying to progress through this maze, it, in the first place, the guy wasn't really helping out as much. It was just telling me um, what was what and what trainers you are encountering here. I had to actually look up a more uh, complex guide than the uh, strategy wiki in order to get out of here. Because as I stated before, I haven't really played this game in years, folks. It's been some time since I actually beat it. But I'm glad I was able to when I was able to. So to bring you guys this fantastic playthrough. Um, I'm going to be covering, like I stated before, I'm going to be covering some more RPGs on this channel. Um, I don't know the next one I'm thinking. I'm thinking of doing the Mario and Luigi, the Superstar Saga. But I want to be able to do the 3DS version that's coming out. So I'm also looking into a um, 3DS to re uh, a 3DS capture device to record. I'm um, just looking here at my uh, my little guide here, and it's gonna um, be explaining a lot about the Pokemon that we're going to be encountering, and uh, and this is uh, strictly Elite Four, mind you. So um, this is gonna I'm gonna have a lot to talk about when eventually I get to them and the battles that's gonna be behold within that. So yeah, I hope you folks are um, pretty much looking to looking forward to that part as well but we got a double battle here which is nato queen and then a uh, nano king um so i decided to bring out two of my strongest pokemon to fight against it and bam one hit with that uh being it um paralysis and the flame combo was able to defeat the couple i think that was the last op uh, obstacle that was standing in my way actually um give me just a second here uh, I think they were the last one, if I'm looking at this correctly. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Double Edge, if you want to le learn it, um, I was thinking about l learning Double Edge, but I decided to pass up that technique, um, because you could come back and learn it anytime if you want to, but yeah, folks, that's Victory Row, folks. And within these few steps here, this is the Intico Plateau, and this is where the, pretty much the cream of the crop is here, folks. Um, this is where we're going to face the Elite Four, uh, as soon as I can get inside the freaking building. But yeah, folks, this is uh, the next part. It's the last part of the playthrough, so I hope you folks stay tuned.